IT band. So we're gonna be working on the sides of our hips, down our legs. I think you'll enjoy this class that I have planned for you. Just take a few minutes here just to breathe in and out and kind of settle into your practice. Getting ready to explore sides of your hips, down your legs, sides of your body. Shake your head out, right and left. Maybe say no. Yes. Roll your shoulders back. Going forward. And then let's take our hand. If you're sitting on your block, remove your block and walk them all the way out in front of you. Take a long breath in this child. And then move your hands to your right. Breathing in through your nose. Walk your hands over to your left. Walk your hands back to center. Come to your hands and your knees and move through a little cat-cow. Drop your belly on your spine. Using your breath to breathe in and out. Go ahead and take your right leg back, flex your foot, and take your right leg to the left and look over your left shoulder. Well, that nice outer hip stretch. Breathing through. Shake your head. It feels good to kind of move. Begin your practice this morning. Drop your right knee. We're coming into the cross knee pose and shift your hips forward and back, and then go ahead and cat-cow here, drop your belly, lift your head, and round your spine. Drop your belly, lift your head, and round your spine. And then go ahead and bring that right leg back and knee down. Let's do the left side, left leg back, cross it behind your right, and look over your right shoulder. Breathe through that outer hip. Shake your head if you like. I'm going to bring that left knee down. Shift forward and back two times. And then drop your belly, lift your head. And round your spine. Drop your belly, lift your head, and round your spine. Release your left leg, push both feet back, come to a high plank, and then lift your hips and find downward dog. Breathe. You can bend the right and left knee, you can find stillness, whatever feels good in your body.
taking your time, breathing in and out through your nose. Shake your hips from side to side, moving, bending your knees. Flatten out your palms, move your head around. Back to your downward dog. Take another nice long breath in. A big exhale, let it go. And then walk your hands, or excuse me, walk your feet to your hands. Come to a fold. Move your body from side to side. If you need to have blocks in your practice, keep your blocks out in the front of your mat. And a half lifted chest, breathe in. And roll yourself up like a rag doll, take your time. Roll your shoulders back. And lift your arms above your head, breathe in. And then just bring your feet together. And just like we did before, take your right leg behind your left, but this time grab your right wrist and reach over to that left side. Breathe, and breathe through this side stretch. And then release it, bring your right foot back to center and take your left foot behind your right. Reach up and grab your left wrist as you reach over to your right. Your right knee can be bent. And release. And take a big swan dive to fold. It can be slightly separated. Drop your head between your knees, your shins, shake it out. Moving it from side to side, just releasing any tension. You can grab opposite elbows if you'd like. You can hold on to blocks. Let the spine get really heavy and long. Shake your head out. Yes, I go. Nod it, shake it out. Now bring your right hand, or excuse me, your left hand out in front of you and take your right arm up. Please place a block underneath your hand if you need to. Bend your arm, your knees as much as you need to. Release your right hand. Half lift your chest. And then fold. And then bring your right hand down and lift your left arm up. Take a big long twist. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Breathing through this twist. Take your left arm down. Bend both your knees and shake it out. <clears throat> Step your right foot forward and take your left foot back and left knee down. Again, use blocks if you need them. Shift your right leg long and straight and keep your right foot flat. So flat, not flaxed, flat. Breathe, you can lift your foot if that feels good. Come to the heels, listen to your body. Just move forward and back, straightening and bending your right leg. And the next time you come, to a bent knee, take your right arm and reach it up. 
a twist. And bring the right hand back down. Straighten out that right leg once more as you breathe. Pull your right hip back, your left hip forward. You can walk your hands back towards your shins. So that stretch all the way through that right leg. Take both your hands and bring them over to the right. So cross your left arm over this right side. Breathe it out here. Walk your hands back to center. And your right knee. Palms down, take your right foot to the left, come to a high plank. And then go ahead and lower down to your knees and lower down to your forearms and lift your chest up. Come to the Sphinx pose and breathe here. Come up, flex your feet, come up off your hips. And take your right hand and bring it across your body. Come to your right, either drop your knee or your right hip, or leave your hip up. And come to a side plank, lift your right arm up. So you're in this forearm side plank, and you're just lifting this, excuse me, left arm up. You're on your right elbow. <clears throat> Go ahead and bring your Left arm down, hips down, come back to that sphinx. Take your left arm across, come to your left side. So you can drop your, you can leave your left hip down or lift it up and bring that right arm up. Totally up to you. You come to a modified plank or a full plank. Breathe. Lower your right elbow. And go ahead and push back to your downward elbow. And breathe. I'm going to start to walk your hands back. Or excuse me, walk your feet to your hands. We're going to come forward and fold. Straighten out your legs, half lift chest. And then roll yourself up. Big breath up again. Back up a little bit so you can see me. Hands together, feet together, reach over to your left. Center slowly over to your right. <clears throat> Center. Cactus your arms. Take a big breath in. Reach your arms high. And now step your right foot back and come to that low lunge again. So bring your right foot back, right knee down. You're on <clears throat> the flat. Part of your left foot, and then you're going to straighten it out and keep your left foot flat or reach your toes up and come forward, bend your knee. So straightening and bending the left leg. Just listen to your body. And then flatten out that right hand, bend that left knee and lift up, take a twist. Bring your left hand down. <clears throat> Bring your foot, straighten out that left leg. You can walk your hands back towards your shins. You can lift your toe up. We're going to walk our hands, right hand across this left foot. 
pull that left hip back, breathe. Back to center, take your left foot to the right, high plank, and then move to chaturanga. <clears throat> come to your elbows and come to your sphinx. Breathe here. Roll your shoulders back, stretch your spine. Flex your feet, lift up to that. Elbow plank, take your right uh, forearm, shift it across, come to that left side, side plank. Right knee can be down or leg can be extended, it's up to you. Shift down to your elbows, left arm comes across left side plank. Shift down, come to your elbows, breathe. Push your hips back to your heels, come to child, or sit up on your knees. So lit or sit up on your shins, excuse me, either one. So stay in child's or bend those knees and sit up nice and tall, just like we started. And breathe, just notice the body's warming up. Turn my computer off, it's super hot in here. Take a long breath in. Whether you're in child's or sitting up nice and tall, and then reach your arms out and find your downward dog. <clears throat> and then walk to the front of your mat. Take your time, fold. Half lift chest. Hold and then roll yourself up. Find that one vertebrae at a time. Push your soles of your feet into your mat as you draw yourself up. Roll the shoulders back, big breath in. And then go ahead and pull your right knee up into your chest. Lift it up, sit up nice and high. Roll the shoulders back, find a little balance. Now, if you can, release your knee and bring your hands to your heart. Hold here. We're going to send this right leg back. Find warrior three. You can hold your hands at your heart or maybe bring your palms back as you fly. Pull that right hip down. Flex that right foot back. Stay for a couple more breaths. And then carefully send your right foot down and lift up. Arms reach high in that first warrior stance. Pull your belly in, breathe. Twisting over your left leg. Your gaze can be forward, your gaze can be back, it's up to you. Hold this twist, hold that left knee forward, and come back to center. Open up, finding warrior two, breathe, bend that left knee. Gaze over the front of your wrist. Straighten out your left leg. Bring your hands to your hips and then turn 
left and right foot parallel to the front and the back of your mat. Slowly hinge your hips, come forward and take a fold. And your elbow, shake your head. Palms down, chest high, half lift. Bring your right arm in front of you, take your left arm up, give yourself a big twist. Pull the belly down. Bring your right, excuse me, left hand down, fold. Push your palms down, half lift, and then push that left arm down as you reach your right arm up and hold this long twist. Reach your right arm down, fold, hands to your hips. As you hinge up, take a big breath in, and then exhale, fold. Now, what I want you to do is, I want you to, it, with your feet parallel, take your hands across the left foot, and we're going to reach across your foot if you can, coming into this long stretch. So your feet are still parallel or your left foot can slightly come out, but we're going to cross the right arm in front of the left, just like we did when our knees were bent. And then just go ahead and bring your left foot forward, turn your right, right foot back, lift your left leg up, three-legged dog, and then bend your left knee underneath you and bring it to the right side of your body. Straighten it out and come to this fallen angle. Reach the right arm up. Take your right hand down. Take your left foot back. Draw your knees down. <clears throat> come into child's and take a long breath. Stay in this child, breathe. Shake your hips from side to side. And then find your downward dog. Reach your hips up and back. Take your time. Walk to the front of your mat and fold. Half lift your chest. Roll it up. One vertebrae at a time. Bring your hands to your heart. Pull your left knee in this time. So go ahead and give it a hug. Pull it in, roll the shoulders back. Standing tall, breathing. Release this left leg. Take your hands to your heart. Send it back. Come to that warrior three. Flex your left foot. You can draw your arms back if you like. It's totally up to you. And then as you're ready, go ahead and send your left foot down, warrior one. That first warrior pose, bend your right knee, breathe it out. Stay here and feel the stretch. And then start to rotate, twist over that right knee. Your gaze can be back or your gaze can be forward or center. Lift your arms high, open up, warrior two. Bend your right knee, breathe over that leg. Look over your right wrist. All 
long and deep breath in. Bring your hands to your hips and straighten out your right leg and turn your right foot parallel to the front of the mat, left foot parallel to the back, hinging from your hips, pull your belly in, fold, and then bring those arms in front. Take a half lifted chest. Take your left arm in front of you, bring your right arm up, come to a twist. Take your right arm down, bring your left arm into a twist. Bend, excuse me, send your left hand down. Shift your knees, bending and straightening right and left, moving side to side. Take a flat back, Sandhasana, just moving from side to side. Now, we're gonna walk across the front of our mat, turn your right foot forward, and then straighten out your right leg, straighten out your left, and reach for that twist over this right leg. Big stretch. Ooh. Take your hands, frame your right foot, send your right foot all the way back, lift it up, bend your knee, and then we're gonna send this right leg underneath the left, coming to that fallen angle. And lift your left arm up. And lots of twisty space here in your hips. You're going to bring your left hand down, shift your right leg back, downward dog, and then going to draw your knees down and come back to that child's. Bring your forehead down. Take a few breaths here, rest your spine, rest your hips. Just allow yourself to float energy down into your mat, kind of melting away into your hips. Focus on a few long deep breaths in and out. And then slowly lift your hips up and back, downward dog. Roll forward, high plank, shifting it out, downward dog. Letting slow movement, roll forward, high plank. Downward dog. Roll forward, come to your forearms. And then shift your hips up and back, find dolphin, maybe walk your feet in, let the crown of your head come down. Forearms down, elbows down, palms are flat. Take a few breaths, rearrange your elbows if you need to, your shoulders. Walk your feet a little closer if you'd like. And then go ahead and bring your knees down, palms down, flatten out your spine, lift your right arm up, pull your right arm underneath your left shoulder and send your left arm along and just kind of lengthen this. Shoulder stretch. Push. 
Left arm down, right arm back to center. Lift your left arm up and bring it underneath. And then once you get there, reach that right arm forward. And that shoulder stretch. Right hand down, left arm back to center, downward dog. Breathe the downward dog, maybe roll to high plank, find a little movement in your spine. Then on this next one, walk to the front of your mat <clears throat> and fold, half lift your chest. And then roll yourself up. Bring your hands all the way up and around and bring them to your heart. Take your right knee up once more. If you can lift up that leg, maybe reach your right hand to your right knee and hold, or maybe reach for your right big toe and extend your right leg out. So either one. Whichever you decide to do, lift up nice and high. If your right knee is straight, bend it. Grab hold of your right foot with your left hand or bring your left hand to your right knee and take a twist. If you can, reach for that right big toe and straighten out your right leg in this twist. Release, bend your knee. Take your right leg back. Send your right hand down. Use your block if you need to. Take your left hand to your right hip. Lift your left arm up. So revolved twist your right leg behind you. Beautiful. Take your left hand down, send your right foot back. Come up to a high crescent. So right foot, you're on the ball of your right foot, and then twist over your left leg. Take your left arm back, right arm reaches up. Find a reverse in this twist. Whew. Perfect. Windmill around to warrior two. Take your left foot, bring it parallel to the front of your mat. Hinge and fold. And now walk across the front of your mat and take that twist over the left leg, just like we did before. You can go a little deeper. Walk your hands back to center. Drop your right knee. And then take your right palm down, twist that left arm again. But see if you can come to the pinky toe side of this left leg. So go a little deeper in this twist. Push into the right elbow, extend and reach up, big twist. Walk yourself back up to center. We're going to do a big twist. So you're going to turn around. So drop your right hip. And then twist and see if you can leave your left foot right where it is and come all the way around so that you are, your back is facing me. And we're just going to take a twist over this left knee. Come all the way back around to the front of your mat. Twist back around. Mm -hmm. And lift your left leg up. 
Bend your left knee, hold your knee open, or come to a wild thing. Woo, lift up. Fun, 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 breathe. And then take your left hand down and send your left foot to the right, down to your child's, stretch your back. That was a big fun sequence. Breathe through it. Draw your hips up and back. Downward dog. And then walk to the front of your mat. Half lift. Roll it up. Take a big breath in. Beautiful. Ah, let's do the other side. So pull that left leg up. Hold it here or grab your big toe with your left hand and lift it straight and out. It's up to you. So you can have your knee bent or hold on to it. We're going to take that twist. So bend your left knee, either reach your right hand to your knee or your right hand to your big toe and twist on this left side. You're gonna bend the knee, Ooh, take it back to that warrior three, and then send your right hand down and lift your right arm up. Take a twist in the opposite side. So this revolved twist, left hand down, right arm up. Left leg is back. Use your blocks if you need to. Beautiful, take your right hand down, take your left foot back, high crescent, and then twist over this right leg. Ooh, breathe. Take your right hand back to your left leg, left arm up, reverse twist. And then bring it all the way around to warrior two. Breathe. Take your right foot forward, hinge. And, and not right foot forward, right foot parallel, hinge, excuse me. And then walk across your right leg. Just like we did before. So if you can straighten out your right leg and take this twist. Big twist over the right side. Beautiful. Walk back to center. Left hand down, right arm up. So you can come to the pinky toe side, drop that left hip and reach your right arm up. Big stretch. And then shift your left hip down. Let your right foot come around and come all the way back to the back of your mat to take that twist over your left knee. Your left, or excuse me, over your right knee, your left leg is straight, twisting over this side. Big breath in. And then go ahead and unwind all the way back around to the front of your mat. Right leg comes up, three-legged dog, hold here. Or find your wild thing. Float. Your right arm down, left arm down, come down to your knees and find your child. Breathe in and out. Okay. 
when you're ready, roll yourself up, come into your downward dog. Take your right leg up, bring it underneath, cross it under, and then drop your right hip with your leg across your left side of your body. Hold here, nice and high, or walk your elbows down. And come to that sphinx. Right leg is crossed underneath the left. Getting into your IT band as you breathe. Push your hands down, lift up, and then just keep your right leg where it is and keep your left leg where it is, making this L with your leg. So your left leg is at the back of your mat, your right leg is on the side of your mat. Lift your hips up and give yourself a little space as you breathe in. Shake it out just a little bit. And then bring your hands back to the front of your mat, shift that right leg back, downward dog. Go ahead and draw your left leg up. Mm -hmm. And then bring it inside of that right, put your left knee in, bring it to the inside of your right hip. Lower down, come down to your elbows. Ooh, super tight on this side, really tight. Come to that sphinx. Checking in with your hips, your IT band. Walk your hands up, push your right leg straight back, left leg straight back, lift your hips up, shake it out, just move from side to side. Both hands back to the front of your mat and bring yourself back to your downward dog, bend the right and left knee to shake it out. Maybe shift your hips from side to side. And go ahead and come all the way from a high plank down to your chest. Reach your arms, clasp your hands behind you, roll your shoulders back. Lift up, stretch your shoulders, maybe lift your legs. Gaze straight down. more breaths. Release, take your arms across, forehead to your hands, bend your knees and shake your legs from side to side.
extend your legs, come back to your sphinx. You're gonna bend your right knee and reach back for your right foot. Lift your chest, you can bring your left forearm across the front of your body. Stretching through this right leg, quad, shoulder. Release. Take your right forearm across, bend your left leg, reach back. Stretching, stretching this left quad. Release, bring your elbows wide, take your right knee up towards your chest. And then with your palms like cactus, look over your left side of your mat, right knee is high. Over your right shoulder, push your palms down, bring that right leg down. Let's do the other side, cactus, left leg up. I'm gonna look over right shoulder. Go over the left shoulder. Palms down, reach back, push into child's. Forehead can come down. Shake it from side to side. When you're ready, go ahead and roll onto your back. Bring your knees into your chest. Give them a tug. Send your right leg long. Take your left ankle over the right. You can bend your right knee, reach your hands, thread them underneath, either reach for your shin or the back of your hamstring. Breathe through any tightness. Just close your eyes and just allow the body to relax in this stretch. Carefully release your right leg. Bring your right foot down and bring your legs over to the right. Open up your arms, maybe look to the left. Bring it back to center. Take that right leg up once more. Straighten out your leg. Reach behind you. Reach for your hamstring with a straight leg. Bend. 
bend your right knee, release your left leg, circle your knees around, give them a little hug, one direction and then the other. And then go ahead and let's do the other side, straighten out your legs, bring your right ankle to that left knee, bend your knee and reach between the legs, either for your hamstring or your shin and hold this stretch. Breathe through the tightness, close your eyes, melt into the stretch. Go ahead and release that left leg. Foot down, bring your right and left leg over this left side. You can open up your arms, maybe look to the right. Get back up to center. Straighten out your left leg, reach behind this left hamstring, hold the stretch. Deep breath in. Release it. Take your right leg up, circle your foot around one direction and then the other, maybe give it a little tug and then just begin to lower your left leg and take your right leg across the left side of the body as straight as you can. So that, that twist that we did standing, now we're doing it here on our mat. Breathe through any tightness in that right IT band. over your right shoulder. And then go ahead and release that right leg up. Bend your knee, tuck it in, give it a hug. And then take your left leg up and bring your right leg down. Flex point, circle this left leg around. Moving through your ankle, maybe give it a little hug. And then release your left leg. If you can, grab your big toe. If not, if it's too far, don't worry. Just pull this straight left leg over to your right. And then maybe breathe, looking at your left. Few more breaths in and out. Bring it all the way back up to center. Bend your left knee, give it a tug. And then bring both your knees in, 
circle your knees by holding on to them in a circle. And then go ahead and grab those big toes and reach for your happy baby pose. Maybe shake it out. Big breath in, exhale. Soles of the feet together, knees together. Give yourself one more hug. And then just rock yourself up on your spot. Rock and roll it out. Sitting up nice and tall. Bring the soles of your feet together. Hands to your knees, breathe in and out. Shake your head no. Yes. Roll the neck around. Your knees together, give yourself a hug. And roll on your back and find your Shavasana. 